Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how does scale factor affect finding the uh, perimeter and the area of the new shape. So if you notice here, we have a shape that's 2 by 4, and then we have a shape that is a 4 by 8, and so this rectangle has been enlarged to create uh, this new rectangle by a scale factor of 2. So let's see the perimeter. We have a 2 by 4, and so a 2 by 4, and that 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 is going to give us 12, and then the new one is 4 by 8 by 4 by 8, so if we add all those up, 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 gives us 24. So if you notice, the 12 to the 24, you can actually say that the perimeter times 2 is giving you the new perimeter, which is 24. Therefore, we can say that the scale factor affects the perimeter by multiplying once times the scale factor. Now let's look at the area of this rectangle. We have a 2 by 4, so the area would be 2 times 4, and 2 times 4 gives us 8. So the area of the original rectangle is 8. Let's look at the new rectangle. The new rectangle is a 4 by 8, so to find the area we're going to multiply 4 by 8 and that gives us 32. So what do you notice between 8 and 32? The area has not been times 2 like the perimeter was. It's actually 8 times 4, which gives us 32. So you can think of this as the area times the scale factor twice, and that gives us the new area. So you can say that's 8 times 2 times 2 one more time, and that's going to give us the 32, the new area. So what did we learn? Perimeter, when it's dilated, you have the perimeter times scale factor once, and area is times the scale factor twice times itself, and that gives us the new area of